Bart showed up at my house. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill, and today's a big day, man. Wow, can you look at this thing? Look at this, look at this thing in all its glory. Get a, get a good shot of that, Trish. Holy cow, you are looking at the absolute Cadillac of chest smokers. I can't believe this is in my backyard. Seriously, guys, that is, oh, look at it. Look at it. That's the Bradley Smoker Professional P10 Smoker. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, listen, uh, I'm going to show you all kinds of great stuff about this. Kurt, thanks for hopping on. Uh, Michael's there. Scott's watching. Christine is watching. Hey, from Ohio. Uh, we're going to take just a second let people kind of join in here. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know uh, what you're barbecuing tonight. Maybe let us know the kind of equipment you like to work on, man. We always keep an eye on our comment section. We keep an eye on all the things that people kind of come back and forth with us at. Uh, based on that, we try out all kinds of new products, new foods, new recipes. You know, you see a lot of food on this channel. But I promised when we started this that when I came across new innovations, new technologies in smoking and outdoor cooking, I was going to stop everything and talk about it. And, guys, that's what we got here. So, uh, Jim, good afternoon, Mark and Trish. Give me the hand, Trish. Everybody say hi to Trish. Trish loves her. Hello. <laughs> Mark's watching. Bobby's checking out from Kansas City. Uh, hey, Randy from West Virginia. Randy, what kind of smoker do you got? Do you got a, you got a grill in the backyard, a smoker? Uh, Brian, same thing from Maryland. I was so embarrassed the other day. We did these uh, uh, quesadillas with Maryland crab and blackened chicken. And I didn't notice that uh, this thing auto-corrected all of my properly uh, spelled Maryland's to uh, uh, Maryland, <laughs> something like that. It was terrible. It was really bad when that happened. Who else we got here? Uh, Kenny, evening, Handy City, Illinois, Big Green Egg, Camp Chef, 36-inch. Oh, man, he's got a backyard like we've got. I love that. Uh, Mark's in Brandon, Missouri. Ooh, I do like Brandon. I like Brandon, Missouri a lot. Uh, Terry Power, hey, it's Terry from London, England. Is, it, is, is this the one that asked us to start doing shows earlier? <laughs> I'm in England. Can you? I read that somewhere. I don't know if that was you. Let, let me know if that was you that said that. We're working on it. Uh, Cotton Tyler, is that your real name? Is that Cotton? I want, man, that's a cool name. Cotton Gill. It's, no, it wouldn't work with Marks on the Girl. Cotton sounds good, though. I need a new nickname. Does Cotton work? No, <laughs> Trish isn't going to call me Cotton. Uh, who else we got on here? Uh, Michael Anata from Las Vegas. Hey, guys, if, if you're just popping in here like Wade that popped in here from Elizabeth City, checking in, uh, Arlene's got the Camp Chef, Woodwind Griddle. Oh, and the pizza oven. Oh, man, isn't that fantastic? I love when you guys let us know what kind of equipment you're working on, what kind of things you love to cook on. So, listen, if you're just popping on here and you missed my quick hello, this is it, man. This is the Bradley P10 Professional Chest Smoker. If you're unfamiliar with Bradley, they have a technology built into their smoker that's unlike anything you've ever seen in any smoker on the market, period. And it's going to be a lot to get your head around. It was kind of a lot for me to get my head around, but as soon as I got it, I was like, Oh, uh, here, hold, hold on a sec. So, uh, Randy and Rick, uh, I, I know you're watching out there. Christina's watching. She's got kettle grills, blackstone grills, land smoker. <laughs> I love the equipment that the people that watch my show have. So, let me just set my phone down here for a second, and let me show you this. So, if you're if if you're in that spot where you uh, you know you're thinking about a new smoker, you're you're thinking about a, a, an additional piece of equipment for the backyard, or or maybe you just you know you're like me, you're just kind of into the new stuff that's out there. You look at something like this and you're like, what makes this thing so different? Other than the fact that it's pretty, it's gorgeous, it's stainless steel. This is one of those ones where because it's got a nice silicone barrier on the inside of this door, it's going to stay looking that way. I get a I get a lot of smokers in here that look shiny out of the box, but <laughs> all right. So uh, let me just give you some of the kind of the basics in this and then we'll really dig down so come on in here okay uh, when i pop this open by the way this is very satisfying it's like the microwave door i gotta do that again i love that <laughs> nice push button now when i open this up it's a four rack uh, on delivery with room for five so if you wanted to upgrade and get something new that's fantastic you got all the room in the world in here for anything you're going to smoke from briskets to uh you, you know uh big pieces of pork you get a whole turkey in there i easily easily fit what nine chickens in this thing it's got a really big capacity you guys without a doubt now down here there's two trays usually in a smoker you only see one and that's to catch the drippings from the meat well 
One of them is for just that. I just, I just burned the new off it, so I'm checking my hands here. One of them is for just that, catching all those drippings. A uh, little tip, give these a bit of a line of tin foil. Make your life easier when it comes time to clean these things. But this one, this one is serving a very interesting duty. And it's, it's, it's one of those things where, again, we're going to have to talk about it and really kind of get into it. But see what's happening here? This is capturing the briskets that we use to create smoke inside of this chest. So uh, I'm just going to kind of wet your whistle with that. I'm going to slide that back in there, and we'll talk a lot more about that in just a second. So let me go. Oh, by the way, uh, I love the silicone seal on this. That's fantastic. It's nice and tight. You can feel it when you close it. Listen, there's nothing about this smoker that doesn't scream quality that doesn't scream well built that doesn't scream i absolutely want to have this so uh, uh randy I, I know you've been watching for a while i don't even know what you cook on brother uh mark scroggs is watching i don't know what you cook on either let us know what you cook on what are you cooking on is it a blackstone is it a pellet smoker is it a stick smoker is it an argentine grill is it a regular grill is it an electric grill is it a uh, Weber grill? What, what, what do you got? We love hearing what you got, guys. And always let us know where you're watching from. So that's kind of the basics, all right? So now let's have a look. And I want to show you this control panel, all right? They really did a nice job on this control panel. Now, this is a company out of Canada. So this is exciting for me because for the first time dealing with these equipments, usually I get a piece, a piece of equipment. I just talk to my U.S. friends, and they're kind of the only ones that can jump in on our uh, either, either giveaways or specials, whatever it is we're doing. But now, now with cross-border time here, man. Uh, so you've got a choice here of, of Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is really kind of cool. All right, so I'm just going to switch that back and forth there. A little Celsius, a little Fahrenheit. You've got a setting button here, which is fantastic. But here's how simple this thing is to work, okay? And, and actually, before I get ahead of myself, let me show you what's creating the smoke inside of this smoker, okay? The best, way, the, the, the best word you're going to use, the best wood you're going to use to create smoke in almost any situation is sawdust. It smokes quick. It smokes fast. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about big chunks and regulating heat. That's the best way to go. And there's a lot of uh, you know, uh, smokers out there that use that. I know Masterbuilt's got a line. Charbroil's got a line. And here's the problem, okay? You run into trouble with smoking when you allow your wood to turn into coal. Because as soon as it does that, as soon as it starts to like uh, get to that point where it ignites and it combusts, what you're doing, guys, is you're creating something on the inside of your cooking chamber called nitrogen dioxide. It's an actual chemical, okay? And in your food, in your pork and your beef, especially red meats, you've got something called myoglobin. People think that's the, the blood in the meat when you cut it and it comes out, or the red. People think that's the blood of the animal. It's called myoglobin. So now, when this nitrogen dioxide hits this myoglobin inside the cooking chamber in your food, what it does is it creates a ring around your food of uh, like a dark red chemical burn, all right? People see it as a smoke ring. It has no taste and it has no flavor. If anything, it adds a little bit of bitterness to your food. Well, this is the innovation that Bradley's come up with that knocks all of that out of the park. Uh, people that are serious about a clean smoke, and I, I've seen people do this, they'll keep a really watchful eye on how they're smoking their sawdust, and they'll keep it on. As soon as it turns black, as soon as it all turns black, they yank it out. Okay, before it starts to combust and glow and turn into like a, a coal or something. Well, what we've done here, what Bradley's done, is automated the process. So come here, let me show you on the side here what I'm talking about, okay? And this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. This is the only smoker that does this, all right? It completely automates the whole process of keeping the chemicals away from the outside of your food that are caused by wood fuel only smokers and grills. If your wood is also the source of your heat, well then you've got to combust that wood. So this is like a this is like a hybrid. You've got the elect you've got the electric elements in here that are going to keep and hold that heat perfectly and then you've got the smoking element and this is what this whole apparatus does. One at a time, it feeds these briskets into a burner. The burner creates smoke for 20 minutes. And then it pushes that puck, that little brisket, in to that little water reservoir and extinguishes it before it has a chance to release any of the nitrogen dioxide in and around the cooking chamber of your food. That's brilliant. That's so smart. Think about that, you guys. We Listen, I'm... I'm no expert on anything. I, I, I Google it. You got to Google this stuff for yourself. Check into this stuff. But that's a real deal, you guys. That smoke ring that we've all been taught to worship on our barbecue. 
does absolutely nothing and it's created from a chemical reaction so like i said serious people about serious clean smoke and kind of keeping that out of their diet and out of their family's diet will allow that smoke to happen with that sawdust from specially uh, you know selected hardwoods was exactly what we're using here and then they'll remove it and that that's a big process because for the whole time you're going to create the smoke you got to keep an eye on it right that's what we've done here. We've automated the entire process. So when it comes time to cook your food, come on in here. Isn't that cool? Like, listen, I, I, I'd love to hear your opinions on this. You know, the, the, you know, all the people that are watching, Chris and uh, Don Zunti and Rick George and John Austin, never smoked anything. Well, this is a good way to start, you guys. Uh, David's watching. Chuck Smiles is watching. Uh, Corey Nimsey is doing 20 pounds of pork butt right now for a little league football game tomorrow. Good for you, man. Good for you. So listen, let me show you how simple and easy this is to use. So you take a lot of things out of the equation when you talk about a system that works like this, okay? You can automate everything. So here, have a look here. Everything's a touch panel display, and it's got this really neat rotary dial, like the, uh, remember the iPad or the uh, what, iPods? They were fun. So here, you're going to push this, and that's going to allow you to start to set that temperature. Okay? Oh, I'm going to turn it off and on. I hit a button there. <laughs> I love electronic control panels. Those are so cool. All right, so that's going to pop on. Everything's going to go there. We're going to put it to Fahrenheit. So we're going to set the temperature. And now we're going to bring this right up to right around you know, that 250 degrees. And what's great about this is we're not relying on some sort of combination of, of internal thermometer and ability to burn wood you know, consistently every single time. That's when it gets kind of tricky, okay? So we're going to press that. Now it's going to bring us over here. And we're gonna we're gonna want to smoke. Let's say uh, let's say we were doing ribs, okay? And we want to do this for what? No, a pork butt. Let's say we're gonna do a pork butt. So we're gonna start this, and we want this to go for 10 hours. We're gonna start there. All right. I'm gonna press that, and then over here, we're gonna tell it. And this is what's cool: how long we want it to smoke. All right. That's the little pellet. So I'm gonna push that, and I'm gonna say I want out of my 10-hour smoke, I want about seven hours, or a 10-hour cook. I want about seven hours that's going to smoke. And guys, that's it. It's programmed now. See how those three are a lot? You've told this thing exactly what to do. I want it to cook and smoke at 250 degrees, and I want it to hold it right there. This isn't like a, a pellet smoker or, 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 or something like that where there's like a 20-degree variant depending on how the wood's burning. No, no, no. This holds steady at the 250. We told it that we wanted it to hang at that temperature for 10 hours. Now, if you've got a smoker that relies on wood and the combustion of wood for your heat source, even after your food is done taking in the smoke, especially after you're done a wrap, can't take any smoke in then, you're wasting wood. You're wasting fuel. You're going to tell this to smoke as long as you want it to. Now, uh, it'll hold enough little briskettes to give you about nine to nine and a half hours worth of smoke. Each one of those little ones burns for 20 minutes and goes into the water. So you know exactly how much smoke that you need for your, for, uh, for your cook, and you never waste any. I mean, that to me is just the coolest. Now, you've also got settings. Come on over here. You've got settings for two individual probes. And here, you know, I was, I was doing a real big look into this, and that's nothing really unique on a smoker, but what's unique, and you, again, we keep screaming quality. Look at this. Look at the attachment on this. It's not like an eighth-end stereo jack that kind of gets ripped out of the wire at the end. You've got to see this. I mean, this is like, I've never seen anything built like this. And that's just the probe. <laughs> like, holy cow, you guys. Fantastic. Now, I told you in the description I was going to tell you all kinds of things that I love about the smoker and a couple of things that, you know, not super crazy about. Um, and, and, and I guess the first one is, it's not that I'm not crazy about this. For, for most, uh, you know, home user, it, it might not be, you know, come into play. But have a look at this. This actually comes with a thumb drive. That's a real deal thumb drive with the real deal Bradley little logo on the side here. And there's a spot for it on the side. There's actually a program that you can download onto your computer where you can pre-program different recipes into your uh, little thumb drive and then pop it into your smoker, and it'll carry out the instructions for that recipe, time, temperature, when to add this, when to add that, and it'll do it the same time again and again and again and again and again. Where this comes in handy is if you've got like a, a little side business, you're doing a little barbecue, maybe you're, uh, you know, the, this thing that uh, our, our, our followers doing for the Little League football, maybe that's something you do on a consistent basis, maybe you got a little restaurant, that's what's great about that, is you get the consistency in the food. So uh, when it comes to that, that little, little, th little thumb drive is pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the other thing, too. All right. This is nitpicky. 
This guy comes with four shelves, right? There's room for five. Five shelves, come on. Now. You put the fifth shelf. Don't make me buy a fifth shelf. Come on now. <laughs> but other than those two little things, pretty minor uh, when it comes down to it. This is, without a doubt, when it comes to chest smokers, the best I've ever seen. When it comes to any smoker, the prettiest I've ever seen. When it comes to build quality, up there with the best I've ever seen. And when it comes to an innovation, and that's the tough thing nowadays, man. A smoker is a smoker is a smoker. A grill is a grill is a grill. Uh, that's what they do. The, the pellet smoker came out. Everybody went bat poop crazy over that for about 10 years. But really, the only new innovations is how well it holds the temperature and how, uh, you know, how, how uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, not conservatively that it uses the pellets. Come on. I was on a roll. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. What? Oh, wow. We'll edit it in later. All right? <laughs> but really, there's not a lot of uh, new when it comes to that. So when you find an innovation like this where you're able to create clean, chemical-free smoke, using an automated process that extinguishes the part of the cook that creates the smoke before it turns any kind of like carcinogen or, or whatever it is, uh, you know, that nitrogen dioxide does. So guys, I, I just wanted to break in here so you could have a quick look at this. Uh, I'd love that you uh, answered or, or popped in a couple of questions. Uh, if you've got any questions kind of after we uh, shut the video off, go ahead and leave them in that comment section. We always read it. We'll always get back to you. And over the next couple of, uh, I would say next few weeks, we're going to really put this to the test because I got to tell you something. This is not your budget smoker. I think this comes out at $949. This is the Mac Daddy. This is the big one, you guys. So we're going to put this to the test. And I got to tell you something. When I first heard about the whole smoke ring, it doesn't add any taste or flavor. I was like, come on. You know what? We're going to see because I got to tell you, if I can take a little bit of, uh, you know, extra stuff out of my diet that I don't need. I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, so guys, listen, uh, do a little research on your own. Like I said, this is the Bradley Professional Smoker P10. Uh, oh, oh, that's the other thing that's cool about this compared to the other models. This entire uh, 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 brisket or biscuit uh, uh, heating system is all internal now. On a lot of the other models, this kind of sticks out the side. And if you're in a small space, you can catch on it, you can grab on it. Everything is just as slick as can be on this. So uh, leave us your comments, leave us your questions, hit that like and notification and make sure that you're getting dinged every time we go live because we're going to come on this with, we're, we're going to hit this with fish and veggies and cheese and nuts and briskets and pork. We're going to have a great time with this and that way you get to see if something like this might be right for your backyard. Guys, my name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill. Thank you so much for hanging out and this, oh, oh this is going to be fun to play with. We'll see you guys next time.